Hi, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the author of What is WebSphere and the SCGA Certification Guide. Love it if you came over to scga.com, um, took a look at some of my tutorials, my free mock exam questions. Even if you clicked on a Google ad or two, you can go to pulpjab or mcnz.com. It's all fantastic stuff there just waiting for you. Anyways, one of the things I want to do is really emphasize the idea that portlets really are just designed to handle the request and response cycle from a client. Um, they take a request from the client, inspect that request, and send a response back. And I don't think anything emphasizes that quite so much as, as a portlet that, say, just inspects the headers of a client. So I've got a portlet application called Basic Portlets here, which has two portlets in it, Hello World and a Country Snooper portlet. I'm actually going to create a new portlet inside of this portlet application. I'm going to call it the getting headers portlet. So let me see. Getting headers. It'll be the default name prefix. It'll be an empty portlet. The portlet name, let me take a look here, um, will be called the, the description is going to be the getting headers portlet. I'll leave that description blank. The display name is the portlet name will be getting headers portlet. Um, and I don't know the description. Why don't we just make the description displays all HTTP headers. And I guess getting headers portlet is good there as well. I'll make it sort of consistent there. Anyways, uh, what else am I going to do here? Put in the package com.examscam.portlet. Put all my code together into one. I'm not going to have any additional modes. Click finish. And eventually the code for my portlet will show up. And I'm going to take a look at this here. Um, got all sorts of stuff that I don't need. I'm going to deal with the action phase of a portlet a little bit later. Right now I'm just really concerning myself with the render phase, the doView method that gets past the render request and the render response object. Um, and what I want to do inside this particular method is grab all the headers from the client and print them out. Now, I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm all about cheating. Kind of got some code copied from there. Let's see how well this copies over. Oh, fantastic. Um, and essentially what I want to do inside of this portlet is, well, first tell the client that they're going to get some text HTML back, get access to the print writer, which I can print output to the client with, um, basically print out, hey, these headers were sent, okay, do some little HTML bold and then even a little bit of a break, and then say to the request object, because everything you want to know about the client comes in through the request, um, call the method get property names. It's going to give you a listing of all the headers, all the properties that are sent from the client to the server. I'm going to hold that in an enumeration. I don't like using that name enums because it's sort of a kind of the, the name of a, a new 1.5 type, but whatever. Um, and I'll say while enum dot has more elements, so loop through all the different properties that have been sent to the server. Get the name of the property. So get the name of the property, um, and then get the value associated with that property. Get property based on the name and then print out the property name and the associated value. Um, and that's then going to print out the name value pairs of all the different headers that are sent to the server. So again, um, the doView method is passed a request and response object. Um, we inspect the request object. Here, get me all your property names. And then we do something to the client with the response object. And that's exactly what we're doing there. Now I'm going to click Save. Um, maybe even take a look at the portlet.xml file. Notice how we've got a number of different portlets in this application. There's the Hello World portlet. There is the Country Snooper portlet. And there is the, the little headers, getting headers portlet. Let me see. Um, description, yeah, that all looks good to me. Okay, I will now right click on this file and say run. Run on server. Click finish. Now, one of the things I had to do is I had to, to bounce my test server because I already had uh, this particular application running and it had already loaded the previous portlet.xml file. So, since I've made changes to the portlet.xml file, I need to, to get those reincorporated. So, one way I did it was just to, to bounce the server. Um, but now I'll take these um, particular files and, and run them on the server. I'm just going to see if I can close all these open windows here. 
and very shortly I will actually have my test environment displaying in a web browser all three portlets are part of the basic portlets portlet application. And there we go. Inside my test environment I've got a tab for basic portlets that maps to that portlet application there. Got my hello world portlet, my country snooper portlet, but most importantly I've got my headers portlet. And the getting headers portlet it now here says that we got the accept encoding, the connection type, the URL and the port that uh, the request came from, the preferred language, which was used to figure out that we like the that the user likes English, the fact that we're in a Mozilla compatible MS IE6, We've got the session ID, the preferred markup language, and the accept type. All neat pieces of information that are surreptitiously sent to the server from each browser. Now that's about it for this tutorial. Um, one of the things I wanted to do was just kind of emphasize that uh, I do run mcnz.com and scja.com. If you want to get Java certified, the new entry level exam is SCJA, and uh, I've got the SCJA certification guide just waiting to be bought. So check out scja.com, pick up a copy of What is WebSphere, click on a few Google ads to support the site, and last but not least, happy WebSphere.